Hesa presents the new generation of non-mandrel pipe benders, CC90 and CC60. We are going to show you how handrails are made, bend a square pipe, different ways to calculate pipe developments. We'll produce different pieces for different applications. Benefits of Technology 4.0 how to position the different pieces for optimal bending, the endless features of CNC control. All CC60 and CC90 pipe benders are produced and assembled at our facilities under strict quality controls. We'll begin this tutorial by making a bike rack. First, mark the starting points for the bends. There are different ways to measure pipe development. In this case, we'll simply use a string to re-follow the geometry of the piece along the middle of the pipe. You make a mark and measure the result. You measure the two ends up to the start of each bend. Measure the two inner angles on the piece. Once the pipe is cut to 645 millimeters, mark the two points where the bend starts. You position them three quarters of an inch die into the CC90 and screw it in. You put on the corresponding counter-shaped die. Adjust the cart and tighten the thread with your hand. The CNC allows us to create programs in millimeters and in inches. Let's make this program in inches. You create a new program in automatic mode. Choose the pipe dimensions, three quarters of an inch, Select the pipe thickness, 0.083 inch. Note down the 60 degrees on the first bend. Add another bend and enter the 120 degrees for this one. Save the program with any name of your choice. Press cell number 1 to begin with the first operation and start the machine. Make sure the mark on the pipe coincides with the mark on the die. The pipe is ready for bending. Complete the first 60-degree bend. Turn the piece and level the pipe. Increase the speed and do a second bend at 120 degrees. Check that the two pieces are actually equal. Let's make a metal chair. This time, you follow the instructions on a drawing. Press the automatic icon. Choose the pipe dimensions and thicknesses.
Note down the first angle, 30 degrees. At another bend and enter 90 degrees. The third bend angle, also at 90 degrees. And finally, enter 30 degrees for the final bend. Save the program and add a name or reference. The CNC Info key allows you to save extra information in each program. Enter the distance where the limit stopper must be positioned. In the note box, you can add any instructions you would normally write down in a notebook. In this case, the total length of the piece. For the second bend, note down the 90 degree C angle. This measurement indicates you must rotate the head 90 degrees. Also enter the distance of the second stopper. For the third bend, just indicate the distance of the third stopper as the bend is done on the same plane as the second one, and you don't have to rotate the head. For the final bend, rotate the pipe 90 degrees and position the stopper at 535.3 millimeters. Confirm. Save the new extra data. Select the first bend from the program and start the machine. Loosen the screws corresponding to 0 degrees and 90 degrees so the limit is correctly positioned when rotating. Position the stoppers at the required distance. Secure the pipe to the tray and lubricate the bending area. Tighten the pedal so the CC60 does the first bend. Slide the limit to the first stopper and rotate the pipe 90 degrees. Do the second bend and then the third on the same plane. Move and rotate the pipe to do the final bend. When doing this piece, you'll notice just how important the movable head is on the machine. Without this structural design feature, the bender wouldn't be able to do this piece. To create the second part of the chair, you just need to position the stoppers and do four bends at 90 degrees. Release the pipe by loosening the hooks and the chair is ready for welding.
we're going to make a tilt window for this Can-Am buggy. We're going to use a piece of cardboard to make a template. You draw the edge of the window frame. Measure the template angles and enter all the data into the CNC. Do all the bends on this window one by one. To avoid any collision between the limit and the machine, release the pipe before doing the final bend. This must be kept in mind when making any geometrically closed pieces. Insert a 28mm solid round piece in the inside to reinforce the point of union. Place the frame above the template and check that the dimensions are correct. And now you can mass produce it. Let's take a look at how the window is being painted and coated. Thanks to all the Kubu professionals for sharing this process with us. For the next example, we're going to make a stainless steel ladder for a pool. Starting off with the drawing of the piece, calculate the total length at which the pipe should be cut. You know the diameter of the pipe is 42.4 millimeters and the radius of the roller guide is 127.2 millimeters. So, you calculate the pipe development by adding the length of the sections, 100.8 plus the length of bend A plus 1072.8 plus the length of bend B plus 596.44 plus the length of bend C plus 572.8. Use the K factor 0.01745 to calculate the length of each bend. Multiply the K factor by the roller guide radius and the difference between 180 degrees and the inner angle of the bend. Length A is 0.01745 by 127.2 by the difference between 180 and 90 degrees. Length A is 199.77 millimeters. Length B is 0.01745 by 127.2 by the difference between 180 and 142.5 degrees. Length B is 83.24 millimeters. Length C is 0.01745 by 127.2 by the difference between 180 and 38 degrees. Length C is 315.19 millimeters. So that gives you the total length by adding 100.8 plus 199.77 plus 1072.8 plus 83.24 plus 596.44 plus 315.19 plus 572.8, a total of 2,941.04 millimeters. Once the total length is defined, you calculate the position for each stopper. For stopper one, start with the total length and take away the 100.8 millimeters for the first section. Total, 2,840.24 millimeters. For stopper two, 
Start with the 2840.24 and take away the following sections of 199.77 and 1072.8. Total 1567.67 millimeters. You do the same for stopper 3, 1567.67 minus 83.24 minus 596.44. Total 887.99 millimeters. Place the roller guide in the machine axis. Secure the clamp to the roller guide using the locking pin and the countershaped die to the cart in the direction of bending as indicated by the arrows. Screw in the end of the reinforcement tool to the axis to secure the roller guide and place the other end in the cart. Tighten the reinforcement tool well. Place the stoppers in the positions calculated. Adjust the cross limit to the same size as the radius of the roller guide used. In this case, 127.2 millimeters. Secure the pipe to the limit tray. Slide the cart until the counter-shaped die comes into contact with the pipe and secure by adjusting the spindle. Tighten the reinforcement tool so it is all well secured. Lubricate the countershaped die and pipe and do the first bend. Slide the limit to the next stopper and proceed with the second and third bend. Once the pool railing is finished, check to make sure the inside of the pipe shows a wrinkle-free finish and the outer bend is round with no deformations. There are two types of bends for square pipes, one with an inner groove with a small radius and another without any grooving, yet obviously a larger radius. Dies with grooves are made with an ascending ramp to minimize deformation and get a good industrial finish. Depending on the customer's needs and the piece, we can produce a die with more or less controlled deformation on the inside. We're going to put all of this into practice by making a bed frame. Position the roller guide for a 40 millimeter square pipe the clamp, and the countershaped die. It's important to lubricate the inner housing for the die well to be able to remove the pipe easily. Position the welding at the bottom or top so it doesn't affect the controlled deformation of the bend.
With another practical case, we'll make a protective piece with a 60 by 2 millimeter pipe. Mark the start of each bend. Position the counter shape die, paying attention to the roller guide direction of rotation. Adjust the mark on the pipe to coincide with the mark on the counter shape die and tighten the reinforcement tool. Do a first bend at 90 degrees. Then level the pipe so the next bend is perpendicular. Lubricate and make the central bend in the piece. To finish up, position the pipe in the final mark and level it again at 90 degrees for the final bend. Remove the end of the reinforcement tool to quickly remove the piece. We're heading over to Nautic Service to demonstrate all the endless applications for these machines in sailing, handrails, arches for canvas covers, roll bars, and all types of stainless steel accessories. We're going to bend the handrail for the bow of a boat using the CC90. You program the three bends in the CNC and save the sequence. Using the two limit axes, you can make this piece in just a few minutes, which truly enhances mass production. We're going to make a 40 by 2 millimeter aluminum handrail with a 6 meter bar through the tray hole. As can be seen, the bend finish in aluminum is perfect. When producing pieces with different bends and in large sizes, the two-axis limit is an immense advantage. A single operator can do the entire piece super quickly and totally accurately without the need for help. If you need to do a single bend, you put it in manual mode. Select the diameter of the pipe and the thickness. Then enter the bend angle and the machine is ready to work. Once the marks have been made on the ends, insert the pipe all the way to zero on the roller guide.
So, you do the 45 degree bend yet. When checking it, you realize the angle is 140.5 instead of 135 degrees. Then correct those 5.5 degrees. Press the icon and enter the degrees required for correction. Again, position the pipe in the machine and repeat the bending. Now, check that the piece is correct and the angle corresponds to 135 degrees. Once you've checked the piece, increase the speed for faster production. Weld a few plates on the ends, polish it, and all these pieces are finished. Another area of application is for automobile fenders and accessories. In this case, we're going to manufacture some bumpers for an all-terrain vehicle. You can really notice the quality finish of the bends. It's impeccable. We'll continue with two more examples with the CC90 bending large pipes. 88.9 by 5.3 millimeters or schedule three inch. In this case, it's iron. In the second case, the pipe is stainless steel. To bend pipes longer than three meters, take off the inner limit from the tray and make it pass through for pipes of less than 42.4 millimeters or one and a quarter inch in diameter. Insert the pipe through the tray and secure. Adjust the cross limit to 120 millimeters, just like the radius of the roller guide we're working with.
Then, make the bends until the limit can't get closer to the machine. Loosen the hooks and move the limit to the end of the guides. Secure the hooks again to keep working. For smaller thicknesses, use the mechanized counter-shaped dies. And for large thicknesses, use the support rollers. The roll holder is secured to the cart as indicated in the image, and you insert the two rollers. Place the clamp on the roller guide and it's all ready. These rollers reduce friction with the pipe and enable an optimal finish on very thick pipes. Using the same roller guide, replace the clamp with a counter-shaped die to bend the same diameter of pipe with a lower thickness. One of the advantages of Narhesa benders is the low cut to make large size bends. For heavy roller guides, add two fixing points for easier assembly. These applications are very common in urban furniture of all kinds. Another main advantage to Narhesa benders is the integrated 4.0 technology. Whenever a customer agrees, our technical service can remotely connect to update the software, offer technical support, find any anomalies, and even use the machine without needing to travel. The benefits of 4.0 technology are endless, and the distance between the customer and manufacturer disappears. A library of diameters in millimeters, schedule, or Whitworth inches. A list of different radiuses for each die which can be edited as needed by the customer. A list of possible thicknesses. Adjustable touchscreen speed programming. Automatic backward movement. If the backward movement is disabled, you have to press the left pedal to bend. 
Once bending is finished, press the right one to move back. If you activate the automatic backward movement, just press the left pedal. The machine does the bend to the chosen degrees and moves backward to the starting point automatically. Degree selection. Degree correction. Piece counter. In simple mode, only the pieces produced are counted. By pressing above, you can delete or update the counter. By pressing the right icon, you can program the quality of pieces to manufacture. Once finished, the machine stops automatically. The info icon allows you to enter information on each piece, replacing that typical notebook, angle, rotation angle, limit size, and any other note you think is important, like pipe development, material, supplier. It streamlines and facilitates the production of the same piece in the future. Programming for multiple bends or a single bend. A set of icons appear when you access the menu. Press Library to access the different programs available. To load a program, just press above the chosen name. With the Tools icon, you can choose the software language. and whether you wish to work in millimeters or inches. Unlike other benders, the movable head allows you to make complex bends without colliding with the machine. This feature can many times make a real difference in whether you can or cannot produce a particular piece. Automatic Unlock The countershaped die and cart oscillate laterally to more easily remove material without operator interaction. Two-way Rotation Direction The two-way left and right programming makes it easier to produce complex pieces that would many times be impossible to make on machines with a single bend direction. To change the rotation direction, press the Rotate to the right icon. Confirm the operation and move the starting point. Remove the countershape die to be able to turn the card over. Also, rotate the countershape die and reposition. The machine is ready to work in the opposite rotation direction, in this case, to the right. Unlike other brands, Narhesa supplies the reinforcement tool as standard. Depending on the icon, the machine CNC indicates whether or not it should be attached. Enter the diameter of a pipe as 1 and 3 quarter inches. Select a thickness of 3 millimeters. The CNC icon tells you to attach the reinforcement tool.
if you modify the thickness to 1.2 millimeters, the CNC tells you there's no need for the reinforcement tool. Put on the washer and tighten considering the groove for the clamp locking pin. For more productivity, you can attach the two-axis positioner limit to any of the two models. This limit provides agility, precision, and maximum productivity for all work done. It features an anti-collision system to prevent it from colliding against the machine. Most benders can only guarantee good finishes in large thicknesses. This thickness is calculated at 10% of the pipe diameter. The all-new counter-shaped dies produced by Narhesa guarantee a good finish, even on thin pipes well below that 10%. We'll show you a few examples of different diameters and thicknesses. Side shelving to store dies. The non mandrel benders we manufacture are known for their robustness, activated by a planetary gear with helical cut pinions. Tempered at areas subject to wear, these machines can handle extreme work days. Narhesa Bend 8 Lubricant. It favors the niche of the exterior curve avoid roughness and internal grooves, reduces matrix wear, ideal for thin lube, lubricates to reduce friction, prevents and dissolves corrosion, polishes and protects, cleans and removes dirt. Easy to move to the work site. The CC60 model can be connected at 110 or 220 single phase volts. The CC90 model can be connected at 230 or 400 three-phase volts. General Maintenance The machine tells you when to grease the head. Press the icon and the warning to delete the alarm until the next warning. Press the emergency stop and remove the front cover on the head. Grease the front pinion using a brush. Unblock the emergency stop and rotate the pinion 180 degrees at top speed. Block the machine again for safe handling. Grease the rest of the pinion and put the front cover back on the head. For complete maintenance, clean and lubricate all parts that may have metal remains or dirt with Bend 8, paying special attention to the moving areas of the machine. Unblock the emergency stop. Thank you for trusting in Narhesa. We continue working to provide you with the best products and the best service.